Hey, this is the Mini Minute Master, and on today's Mini, we'll be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive box, Danger Room Wolverine, and Omega Red. Before we look at these Mini Mates, we'll take a look at the packaging, <clears throat> which is, uh, it's really dark packaging. Um, in the background, you got the paneling of all the characters in the exclusive wave, um, and a really dark blue, sort of an indigo color, um, fades to black as you get up top. Got a nice picture of Wolverine, and then there's Omega, Ma uh, Omega Red, rather. Uh, titles and logos up there at the top, Spider-Man. On this side, there's a picture of Wolverine. Um, on this side, a picture of Omega Red. And on the back, you have a picture of all the characters. You got Morph, Sabretooth, Iron Fist, Blink, Wolverine, Nemesis, Spider-Man, and Omega Red. Um, and there's bios on both the characters down there at the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's about it for packaging. Let's get this opened up and take a look at Wolverine. Here is the Wolverine Mini Mate, and um, I know what I was thinking and what probably most of you are thinking, oh, another Wolverine, it's probably not going to be anything spectacular, and um, in a oh, sense, uh, that would be correct, because uh, it's just another Wolverine, really doesn't bring much new to the table, um, basically just a, a yellow and blue uh, version of the Battle Ravaged Wolverine from the 90s X-Men box set. But, um, it is still a really nice figure. Um, Wolverine has got a lot of detail on him, uh, primarily the torso, um, but it's all on the arms, legs, and face, which is really nice. Um, you get a look at the detailing on the chest, uh, lots of scratches and, uh, hair and muscle detailing, which is really cool. Also on the back, which you don't see as often, um... He does come with a uh, red belt overpiece. Um, red, it's got some scratches and scuffs on there with the black uh, X-Men logo there. Um, and then the boots, you know, just the normal uh, fanned boots uh, with nice black and blue uh, detailing. And what's really nice is the black uh, detailing continues onto the back of the legs and uh, continues onto the foot, which is really cool. You don't see that either. Uh, lots of detailing on the legs. Uh, you can see some uh, flesh tone in there. Um, it is actually painted pretty spot on. Um, you know, no overlaps or anything like that, which uh, is nice. Um, the face also is really cool. Um, got uh, a lot of, uh, you know, blacks um, in there, and that really makes a nice contrast with the skin. Uh, it's kind of got a, a smirk, um, and his eyes are whited out, which looks pretty cool. And just the standard uh, Wolverine hairpiece that we uh, tend to see um, more and more. Um, one problem I have with this figure is the claws. Um, they seem a lot more flimsy than uh, past claws uh, for Wolverine. Um, very flimsy, uh, very easily warped. Um, they are painted a nice silver, but um, they just warp very easily. Um, which could be a problem if you're displaying your mini mates. So, um, yeah, Wolverine comes with no accessories. So that's all for Battle Damaged Wolverine. Well, not Battle Damaged, Danger Room Wolverine. Next, we'll take a look at Omega Red. Here is Omega Red, um, probably the primary draw for the set. Uh, Omega Red has not been done before, and he looks fantastic. Uh, right off the bat, I just want to show a size comparison uh, between Wolverine and Omega Red. Um, Due to Omega Red's boots, uh, chest piece, waist piece, and hair piece, uh, he stands a uh, solid uh, length higher than Wolverine. But we'll set him aside. Um, a really nice looking figure. Uh, lots of really cool custom pieces on there um, that really make this figure uh, really stand out. Um, for one, we got the hair piece, which is a uh, Really nice, uh, a long, uh, longer hairpiece uh, with a ponytail coming out of the back, red band there. Really nice texturing um, and detail. Uh, so he's got the red headband with the Omega symbol on there. And if you do not know what Omega was, Omega is it's the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Anyway, um, really nicely detailed face. It's uh, it's white, and then it's got the gray um, and silver uh, like tech on there. Red eyes and a big uh, angry mouth. Move the head, and you got this really nice looking uh, chest piece, um, which is really cool. It's got silver, which is painted on really well. Um, some black detailing on the front with, some, uh, with the belt going around. Uh, looks really cool. Um, 
then it's all textured and everything so that looks really nice um, underneath you can see he's got the waist piece there to give him some extra height and uh, it doesn't show out at all from underneath the chest piece so that's uh, that's nice um, he's got some nice detailing uh, on the legs um, some black detailing there for muscles and then he's got really cool looking boots uh, which are red with just the custom sculpted uh, H on there on top of them uh, in silver also another neat aspect of this figure is the gloves um, you know, big red gloves with a uh, silver and then the Omega symbol again. Um, and then he's got his tendrils on both arms. They're both different, which was a nice touch as well. Um, and then they just peg into the bottom of the glove um, and just simple white tendrils. Uh, they can't uh, be manipulated in any way, but that's not too much of a problem. Um, yeah, aside from the tendrils, Omega Red comes with no accessories. Well, this concludes this review. This has been the name Aster. And I'll see you next time. Peace.